Welcome. Thank you very much. This is probably like a part two of sorts, I would say. Basically because of length and also because Gardner started to use his machinery and I wasn't going to shout above the kilele. That would be noise or racket in Swahili. Let's get going. This is my Cattleya Moscom coming out with a gorgeous, gorgeous new growth. And I really want to get the balance right on this orchid. Because look, I keep doing this to the growths and I don't get it. It's in bright shade. It doesn't get direct sun. So je ne sais quoi, I do not understand. Of course, I haven't managed to bloom it yet because I haven't got the balance right, but we have another go, another new growth, and I'm so pleased and I love the pink tinges on it. That's its little party trick. <laughs> The Zygonesia we just repotted is doing all right. Also having a little bit of a silicon soak now, as is the Oncilium Melissa Brianne back there, and my Francis Fox, which looks like it's drowning, but it's not. It's just that the roots that are new, I want them to get silicon instead of being on the surface and the silicon is getting absorbed at the bottom. So it's not a very, very active root grower here for me. So that's why the pot is a little bit fuller. But look, we have three buds. Ta-da! Maybe I should title this video, Things to Come. Oh, there's a thought. Right, moving on. Let's go back slowly up here. Ancelia Africana. Let me show you. Oh, I don't want to do orchid by orchid, but oof, it's... Look! Ta-da! New growth right there. Happy days, that's the first. I hope to see another one, but so far, that's one. It's go time, happy days. Let's go up again. And here is my Epidendrum variety or steady eye. Those growths are coming along really nicely. I have counted 11, where I knocked it off on the repot, another side shoot grew. Here's my Chomborchia Thompsoniana. I think it's from Soniana. That's all right. The growth has matured. There is a sheath, but it's a tease. I don't expect it to be blooming. I need to get the bulb size back up to what it was two years ago. And Tivicinus is up here also just chilling. No new growth. Everything else has actually matured, even though they weren't that big, but it is getting established in the pot in the self-watering setup, and that's all I can ask. From the south side blooming alley shelf, I brought this one here. This is my Panarica Ionocentra, which is maturing this gorgeous new growth. It has a sheath, but there's, it's all thin. There's nothing in there. It's been having these sheaths from the moment it came. Oh, I can feel a little bit of a bulge there. So if that blooms, I will take credit for it. But this one, we'll have to wait and see if this one's going to bloom, but I brought them over here because of the silicon soak, even though they live on the south side. This is my Panarica Brassavole. Beautiful new roots coming. So happy. This is good. But look at the leaves. Mm, mm, mm. This is not good. I'm treating that with a fungicide. I've also tried to apply the garlic water but this is not good. I'm not even going to touch it because I have other orchids to show. We'll have to see what that is all about. And it's also on the new growth as well as the old growth where it started, but it's moved to the new growth, which has a sheath, but there's nothing in the sheath that I can see. We saw the Nafetz Alex Poli recently. That growth is extending nicely. Then here I have, let me just double check again. Orchids get moved, my, my photographic memory gets lost. Junya, good life. New growth. Lelia amethyst, which is great. Has a new growth coming right through the middle here. Wonderful, because this is its lead up here. I'm hoping for new growths on the main leads. But if you can bring out another one right in the middle, happy days. Has not bloomed for me yet. Don't know, don't know waiting to see and crack the code on this one. 
Here's the zygopetalum that has yet to be repotted. This is trozy blue. I'm seeing some roots growing in the back here, but I don't think that is a sign for me to start repotting it. It might be. It might be. Well, um, I'll wait a little bit more. Coming along really well. Chantilly Lace Twinkle is losing back leaves here on the oldest bulbs, but it's growing new roots and a new growth. So I'm hoping that this one will at least start to form a little bit better and not be such a languishing little thing. New growth is also coming on my Golden Celle there, but not on my Sunya Green yet, I don't know. This one was divided quite radically, so it's probably sulking. But at least we've got good roots going. That's important. So it can sulk as long as you give me roots. My Stamfordianum is a little bit slow out of the gate this year. Also, the leaves are starting to show signs of stress. Since I got it, it always was blotched like this. I grew two growths that started to get the same blotches as well. And you can see the copper treatment that I've applied, but it doesn't seem to be really doing anything. It bloomed for me last year, but nothing this year. But I think now that is either a new root or a new growth. I do not care. At least it's doing something despite the fact it should have bloomed by now. We'll see what happens with that one. Little Fairy is starting a new growth, which is great. Let's get this Lekka out of the way. It is still breezy enough for the afternoon. Once I've poured all this out, I've given them a good flush. Then I have my Pastoral Innocence also. Got a massive growth coming along here. And my Lelia Purpurata Verkhoiseri Striata. Beautiful new growth. Those are what I like to see, roots. I've got Lelia Perinii back here. First new growth coming out really nicely over there. Very early considering what I'm used to, but hey, I'll take it. I was hoping for a second new growth this year, but that was also divided. Here I have my Durigan Crocera do Sul. This, I'm hoping this growth will bloom. It will be with me almost a year come July. So this is great. I love that growth. Here are my Dawianas. We'll have a look at those a little bit closer in the future. But I've got a beautiful growth starting there, and hopefully this eye will also be encouraged to grow as a second lead. Sorry for that jiggle. Here's Maxima Alba. Beautiful little growth coming right there. This was from Melissa Walker and the Orchid Room and Michael McCarthy coming along really nicely if I could get all the leaves out. The leaves of my Siamese Doll Kiwi, which surprise, was actually blooming late winter, growing new roots now. So that's important. No new growth at this point in time. My other Sunya Green, my mailman also is just on the roots. I've got an eye swelling down here. So we'll have to see. I've never gotten these to bloom. Let's see if 2021 is the season. Whew, my Dinard Blue Heaven. Look at this. Look at this massive growth. Very pleased with that. Good time to be getting some silicon in there. I'm also waiting to one day see the blooms of my Lelia Tenebrosa. At the moment, it, in inverted commas, isn't doing anything. This sheath is not filling up either. And here's my Digbiana crossed with Coilostylus ciliaris. This growth is coming up a treat. I'm hoping for a second one this year, but we'll have to wait and see. Normally it gives me two growths per year and only the second growth will bloom. So we'll have to wait and see, but it is getting started on the root front. That's why silicon thyme, because these are bendy, bendy growths. Give them some strength. My Prostechia, what I thought lancifolium, but is probably cocculata or cochleata. Lots of new growths coming, but more importantly, lots of spikes coming, I would say. There's one, there should be another one in here. There's another one. And I was hoping to get another one in here. Maybe it's a bit premature. 
but cochleata will be back, plus already starting on the next set of growths. Now that this one's got going, it is a weed. My two orange nuggets right here. You can still see the spotting of whatever. Oh, I'm still suspicious, but look at those growths coming in. That's, yeah. How can I throw this orchid away? Ah. And the second one is right here also with its new growth of the season. They are all sticky, all sticky. My, let me see if I can get in there. Here's my Brassavola digbiana. And I don't think my growths are gonna be swelling anytime soon. Let's see, let me fiddle through here. Sorry about that. But you can see that there is a swelling there, but it's gonna probably stay there for a while. I was mistaken when I was repotting it. I thought I was going to get a seasonal growth coming in during the hot time of year, but it is pumping out roots. So I'm not expecting it to be doing everything multitasking all at once. Those roots are going to fill the pot. We will be taking it out of the pot again next year, just to maintain that aeration. Beautiful, love it. All those roots in there, oh, especially when the timing is right. My pacavia also is starting a new growth. I am so hoping to see blooms this year. Really, really wanting to see blooms. It is mature enough. It now has a sheath in its oldest growth, wherever that was there, which is still empty. But my goodness, at least it's a sign and maybe, maybe the next growth will be the blooming one. Lelia Zip is also busy, zipping away, now with a new growth right there and another new growth down there. Whoop, there we go. I'm hoping to see blooms on this one this year. That would make quite a few first time bloomers for me. And Binosa Wabash Valley is also on its way with a new growth here. And here, both leads are starting to do something proactively and it's about time too. Here's Lelia Purpurata variety Bekoiseri, Slowpoke. That sheath hasn't started to show any signs of activity. I don't know if it will, but roots, we like them. Lelia Dauiana, variety Aurea. Beautiful new growth coming in. Very pleased about that. And here's my other Lelia Purpurata that is just going nuts in the pot on the roots. So all the Purpuratas are busy, busy with roots. Then here's my Fushu Glory, happy holiday. Boom, big growth, stonking growth. I'm hoping that that will amount to beautiful blooms. I damaged the leaves when I took care of it with an insecticidal soap and it was a little too cold outside. This one objected to that. I have to be more careful with that one in future. And then here's my Zagarig Wax, African Beauty. I'm very, very doubtful. Let me get past all the leaves here. I'm very, very doubtful that this growth will actually bloom. It's too small. Whoop, sorry, this growth. <laughs> Here's the new growth. It's too small. When you look at, awkward. When you look at the size of the growth that bloomed last year, and you can see what the other growth is doing now, it's skinnier, it's gonna be shorter, but this one got a radical divide as well. So this is basically a reset for this orchid. And we're just going to get a normal little growth, which will chuck out roots. And then we'll see Zagarig wax again next year, unless it proves me wrong, which would be nice, but I doubt it. And then here's my Ophiocladus spathulifera with its new growth. There'll be a video coming out about this one as well. So stay tuned if you're into funky foliage funky orchids coming up my my tsuru here dendrobium speciosum is only focusing on roots and i filled up the top with more small lecker because they were all across the top and you can see how it's extending in there but yeah no new growth on it yet going nuts on the root front which is always super super welcome I have no blooms to show you on this little tour, on this little update, but this was a things to come, a quick speedy look around 
and I thank you so very, very much for watching. Please remember, whenever you see this kind of a video where I'm rattling off orchid names and you have the orchid and you want to join in on the Care Collab series, please remember to then just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely put you on the list with regards to future Care Collabs about them. And I don't mind if you tell me again and again, I know I have a list going and I know I have plenty of names already allocated, but it could be that somebody new sees a video like this. And I would like to encourage everybody who in some time in the future sees this video and says, yeah, I've got that. Always, always remember, let me know in the comments whether you have it. I may already have you on the list, but you never know. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Hope that you have a wonderful day. I now have to really get a move on and hustle. All of them need to be emptied, flushed, and put back in their space. Whew, happy days. It's summer. I love splashing with water in the summer. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and please stay safe. Bye.